buildings account for 40% of our energy use, and most of that energy is used for heating and cooling. Buildings are also the biggest polluters in Europe, accounting for 36% of its CO2 emissions. Insulating our buildings is the best way to reduce our energy consumption, reduce our emissions and lower our energy bills. For example, a family living in Germany that decides to modernise their poorly insulated house can save 11 tonnes of CO2 per year. To make an equivalent saving, they would have to give up their two mid-sized cars, cancel their two holidays a year to Spain, stop eating beef and start taking cold showers. So, we all realise that insulation is important, but when it comes to choosing what insulation to use, we naturally want to do the right thing as well. Mineral wool is the obvious choice. At Eurema, we believe that LCA Life Cycle Assessment is the right method to help you decide. Mineral wool derives from raw materials found in abundance all over the globe and an increasing amount of recycled content. Stone wool is made from volcanic rock, typically basalt or dolomite, an increasing proportion of which is recycled material in the form of briquettes. Glass wool is produced using sand or recycled glass commonly known as cullet. Spinning the molten material on high-speed spinning wheels, somewhat like the process used to prepare cotton candy, produces fine intertwined fibres that, when pressed into rolls and slabs, have the ability to trap air and make them excellent heat insulators and sound absorbers. You might wonder if melting rock and sand is not very energy intensive. Although energy is used to produce mineral wool, a typical mineral wool product can save over its lifetime 300 times the energy needed in its manufacture, transportation and disposal. Now our mineral wool is ready to leave the factory. To have a net positive impact on sustainability, a material must be transported easily. And here, mineral wool insulation fits the bill nicely, simply because its fibre mats are compressible, by a factor of up to almost 10. Fewer trucks means less emissions from transport. Once the insulation gets to the building site, its ease of use comes into play. One, because offcuts from the building site can be shipped back to the factory for recycling. And two, because it is installer friendly. The product is flexible and so installers can snugly fit the insulation in even the most awkwardly shaped spaces. Once the mineral wool insulation is installed, its real sustainability potential kicks in. It will drastically reduce the energy needed to keep the building warm or cool and will provide improved indoor comfort. Even at the end of life for the building it has protected for many years, mineral wool insulation provides a positive impact on sustainability because it can be folded back into the system, reused to become new insulation, protecting another building and its inhabitants, or recycled into other useful products. In a nutshell, mineral wool insulation is durable, recyclable and energy efficient. It combats noise, is non-combustible, retains its dimensional integrity throughout its useful life and is clean and safe to install. It is made from resources abundant in nature, using very little energy to transport or put in place and leaves the net positive carbon footprint. In short, mineral wool is a sustainable insulation. The most sustainable energy is saved energy. By reducing the energy needed in our homes for heating and cooling by up to 90%, mineral wool insulation is putting natural resources to work for the benefit of our planet. <laughs>